wear it with a belt. This was a 5,000 travel air, built in 1927. Okay. They built 12 of them. Eight of them went to National Air Transport and Airline. And this was the first one that went to the airline to bring passengers and mail in Dallas Fort Worth. It was given to Eamon Carter, and he took it out to Shady Oaks Farm out by Lake Worth and uh, stored it out there outside. I got it in 61, so you know I've had it quite a while. Yeah, I have. Eamon, a uh, it's a fact. Eamon uh, gave it to me. I didn't know him very well, but I flew for Moncrief. Uh, Mr. Monty and Eamon would ride with us at times. That was Tex Moncrief? Yeah, well, W.A.'s dad, but Tex. Yeah, okay. Uh, then from there I went to the airline from Moncrief's. We were flying along DC-3 and a fellow named Lynn Wright said there's an old airplane down here on Amy Carter's place, but I don't know what it is. So when I got home, I called George Ann, his wife, and she said he'd be back from golf about four o'clock. Couldn't hardly wait. He came back and said, why, why you don't know that about it? And I said, I'd like to rebuild it one of these days. He said, you can have it if you want it. Well. He said, go out and see Mr. Browning out at the ranch and I'll call and tell him. So we went out there, as soon as we got back off the DC-3 trip on the airline, we ran out there and got it. And what happened was, he let it sit outside so long. That, yeah. But it, the light bulbs uh, in the landing lights, 400 watt, 12 volt, and the bulbs are still good. Wow. They're screw-in light bulbs by GE. <laughs> And I had it for years and never did do anything with it. And finally, you know, about 10 years ago, I started working on it. Now, was that Eamon Carter Jr.? That Eamon, gave, yeah. Eamon Jr. Yeah. yeah Eamon, Eamon Carter Sr. was the one that uh, got the airplane from National Air Transport. Right. But then I had to go through all kinds of heirs, paperwork, to make sure that George Ann and Eamon's uh, wife, mm -hmm. Eamon Jr.'s wife, mm -hmm. Uh, that the airplane was under her control because she was an executor. I see. I should have done it a long time before I did, because I, I played golf with him every once in a while. Yeah. And a guy named Cass Edwards developed all that land south of by the Colonial Country Club and all back in there. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the one that kind of helped me with George Ann because she didn't know anything about it. And right. Said, so I got a bunch of pictures showing building and box cars and all that stuff. A guy named Mark Schellenberg, an old German guy that was on the airline, he 
uh, and built these wings. I built the fuselage. All the tail group rings hanging on the wall back there, they're all finished. I want to add that struts. I got to build my struts. This is all mahogany. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful work. Yeah. Beautiful. And how did you get it here? Just a flatbed truck? Yeah. Yeah. It took me three years. I had an airstrip out in North Richmond, Smithfield. Yeah. <laughs> we let the roof snow come through the middle of us. Huh. Right. What was the name of that little airport? Mangum Airport. Mangum, yeah. yeah. Right. Old man Mangum kept me in an airplane or a motorcycle or a horse when I was a kid. Charlie? No kidding. Well. Mangum? No, Charlie. Uh, Smoky. Yeah. Yeah. Stormy. Stormy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Stormy Mangum. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then uh, Charlie opened the other one over there, huh? No, Charles, I'm uh, at the same airport.